You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little bit secret about a certain Pokemon move. The move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by the types. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target Pokemon's type, so it's easy to use. Why do the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now. The town's hiding a big secret. Uh, I have a Paralyze Heal, so I should probably use that on Makuhita here. All right, let's move on. If you try talking to anyone in Dual Square, there's only one answer. Uh, do I pull out my starter deck Kaiba and send out my Blue Eyes White Dragon, or do I pull out my Kunai with Chain? All right, so I have Shroomish, uh, Shroomish, Skiploom and Oddish, and uh, we have a Skiploom that's level 30. At the start of the game, all these Pokemon with black auras tend to have a, a pattern of uh, being level 30. So yeah, there it is. Uh, we'll do Shadow Rush on Skiploom, and we'll hit Oddish hard. Yep, there he goes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And no movement. That Oddish may have been kicked to the curb. Oh, more Cotton Spore. Will this also anger uh, Makuhita? Nope, not this time. Hit him! Alright, Makuhita hit Skiploom again, and we'll just confuse confusion on Dustox. Probably won't take it out. Dustox is decently defensive. Yeah. Hup it hup! Blah! Just vomits cotton all over Makuhita. Oh no! The tackle attack! Oh, that actually did more damage I was ex than I was expecting, probably because it was a crit, but still. Perfect. Alright. Maka hit his turn, we'll toss a Pokeball. And Espeon, finish off that Dust Ox. Let's go! Snag Ball! Already, it broke free of the ball. Ooh, there, there it is. Sleep powder. Poor Makuhita just keeps getting hit with those status afflictions. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Makuhita's sleep uh, pose in this game. It's hilarious that its eyes just, I guess, flip around. All right, uh, Makuhita's turn again with the Pokeball. And I guess Espeon just Reflect. Because uh, if we put up Reflect, then Shadow Rush will do less damage to us, which also means less damage to Skiploom. Turns out the final boss of this game is actually Skip Bloom. Who knew? Hip it a hip. Makuta sneezes and wakes itself up. Just gotta keep tossing Pokeballs. Uh, reflect again! So I don't do damage. And also. Oh, boo, I had to lose. Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L-O-V-E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. So yeah, you can actually re- you can refight any of these guys in the dual square. Uh, and that means if you miss out on their shadow Pokemon the first time, you can always just refight them to try again.
This is Dual Square, where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is where roughnecks gather. So how about it? How would you like to battle with me? Excellent! I like a man who can come to a quick decision. Let's have it out! Ryder Nover! Not as cool as Ryder Willie, though. Letty Bob. I actually really like Letty Bob, but I understand that he is not the greatest Pokemon in the world. Oh, by the way, that knocked out level 30. A Pokemon with Black Aura. Alright, uh, I don't think if it's in this game or if it's in the next game, but I'm gonna try calling Makuhito while it's asleep. And Noctowl is very defensive, so I'm, I guarantee he'll be able to take this hit. Okay, good. So if a Pokemon is asleep in battle, you can actually call them and get a free, uh, you know, wake up for them. Yeah, that did nothing. Noctowl's best, best stat is its special defense. It's also not very strong, though, so I was not expecting that to kill, but oh well. Bye, Makuhito. All right, uh, Fluffy, get in there. Just by sending out Fluffy, it didn't uh, lower its heart gauge a whole lot, so that might not be too good. Uh, we'll just gang up on that Letty Buffer right now. Might have to toss up a Reflect pretty soon, though. Oh, there goes Noctel. And we're in hyper mode. Eh, wait a minute. Alright, we'll, we'll call Fluffy. Uh, no, you know what, actually? I'm gonna try sticking with this for one turn, but I'll, I'll use Reflect with Espeon. I don't think it's how you're supposed to fly. This, on the other hand, probably. Wow, he targeted the electric type, huh? Hup, 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 go! Critical hit. Bum, bum, bum. A wingull, you say? Okay, I'm gonna do one more turn of, uh, of Hyper Mode. I'm gonna use Shadow Rush on that Wing Goal, see if I can take it out. But as for Noctowl, I just need to chip it up, chip away at it for a little bit. There he goes again. There we go. I'm not good at doing the water drop noise right off the bat. And here he goes, charging! Got him. All right, Fluffy, you done did good. Uh, Espeon. Well, I don't think I can toss a Pokeball right now and have it work, but we can try. No, you know what, actually? At this point, I'll just try a Great Ball. It's letting me do it. Yeah, it was behaving as though it was there on the ground still. Oh. He's back in the sky. Fluffy, snap out of it! Ooh, that did a lot to his heart gauge. Nice. Here he comes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, Fluffy's turn, I'll just toss another ball. And then Espeon, you can do another Confusion. We are definitely gonna need to heal pretty soon, though. Cool. That should be good enough. Uh-oh. Yeah, whenever the AI uses hypnosis, it is the most, uh... The most accurate thing in the world, but when you use it, pfft, Better hope and pray. Shh. 
Shuck it. All right. You're saying I lost? Well, I don't need to say anything. It's pretty clear. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, eh? Hey, that's my other name. Also, before I move on too far, uh, I'm gonna do a couple things. First of all, rather than going to spend $100 at the hotel, uh, I'm gonna come over here. This is where the Coliseum is. And over here, your own personal healing machine. Don't need a Pokemon Center, you just have the machine right here for you. So there we go. Uh, I am also going to switch Fluffy out into the front for us uh, for a little bit. Gonna hope for its heart gauge to lower down for the first tick. Oh wait. Save time. Oh yeah, and we can also check out our uh, our snag list here. Snag succeeded. Snag succeeded. Snag succeeded. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it tells you which trainer had it and what its stats currently are in your... Like, in general. Like, how far along you are with that Pokemon. And what have you. But yeah, we're not gonna do the Coliseum Challenge just yet. Uh, I'm gonna finish up things in Dual Square before I actually do that. But I am also concerned that my Pokeballs will be running low pretty soon. What's my... Uh, What's my Poke like? My Poke Dollars. Uh, 5,620. That should get me enough, uh, Poke and Great Balls. And I can always sell some junk that I don't need. Like Torment. I'll be right back, Pyrite Town. You keep your groove. It is unfortunate that the only place in the entire game to buy Pokeballs is at the outskirts stand. Uh, routinely, this uh, this barkeep will stock his items with better Pokeballs, but uh, that isn't for a little while, so uh, keep that in mind whenever you're going to shop for better balls. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Don't need it. And I'll buy a couple more of these. An extra couple of those, because paralyzed heals are always nice to have. And we're good. Back to Pyroid. Gotta get those aggressive slap, uh, slaps, snaps. And also some dynamic camera shots of uh, Wes and Rui driving the motorcycle. Come to think of it, it is kind of weird that the, uh, there's no, like, ambience. It's just the music. Yeah, <laughs> you looking to battle with me? That's too funny. Come at me if your life, as if your life depended on it. <laughs> Ryder Vent would like to battle. Got a little clip-on earrings. Mischievous and Skitty. Meow. How's Fluffy's heart gauge doing? Will it get down past the first notch? Hang on a minute there. Uh, we do not have that uh, ability to, you know, get our heart gauge down a little bit more. So we're just gonna focus down attacks on Skitty for a second. She runs. Or prances, I guess. Now remember, uh, Ghost-type attacks in Gen 3 are physical. So Espeon just took a massive hit from that. Get him, Fluffy! Hup, hup, hup. Once again, it's weird seeing Fluffy being not the slowest thing on the field. A 
A goon! Alright, Floppy. Hit him with the Shadow Rush. Espeon, we gotta get you out of there. Umbreon is so close to a level up. Oop, do a flip. You can't affect Blackie with the blackest of attacks. Hup, hup, hup. And for the record, I'm calling, uh, I called Umbreon Blackie just then, because that's actually its Japanese name. I think Espeon's name is Effie, and Umbreon is Blackie. Uh, we'll just do a bite. It should be fine. Flip. And confusion. Oh. Hey, yep. I should be pretty safe to do another one of those, but just in case I'm not, I'll use Fluffy to uh, Shadow Rush it. Because I think Shadow Rush would do less damage overall than uh, Bite would, because Bite has the potential of critting, and that's going to be a problem. And charge it in! That's pretty good. I could probably toss a great ball from here, and it'd be, it'd be fine. Get that goon! Little leg twitch there. All right, Fluffy. Uh, on your turn, I will use a great ball, and once Umbreon's turn comes around, we'll just taunt it. Wow! Already. Fluffy might take the hit. Yep, there it goes. Uh, stretch, and can't quite make it. Uh, I think for this one, I'll just send out Quilava so he can get some uh, some extra heart gauge knocked down. Just doing a little jig. Now, I would use Snatch with uh, Umbreon here, but I am worried about accidentally confusing it, thus making it easier for it to do damage to itself. So I am a little worried. I'll just keep taunting it over and over. Besides, Mischievous can do damage to itself with uh, Shadow Rush already. My goodness. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if I did snatch Confuse Ray. I actually don't know if I can, but I'll still do it anyway. If it doesn't pan out, then it doesn't pan out. If it does, then it does. Oh, didn't break out. Wow, it broke out after, like, on the first one two times, and then it just decided, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get caught. You're, you're good. K -k -k wow, that was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know, if Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name and its head will snap back into reality. You mean it'll break its neck? That's unfortunate. Saxophone, harmonica, just a bluesy soundtrack in general. Coliseum had a great soundtrack. Excuse me. How you doing, muscle man? Doing good? It's good. It's good. Now, this boy may not be in the dual square itself, but 
That will bring me so much joy. Let's get started, little boy. Roller boy Lawn. If I remember right, he's actually important. Slugma and Azuril. Look at that little baby. Look at him. He's just having a time. Also, Fluffy has passed that first threshold, so it has unlocked a new move. Generally, a, uh, a Pokemon with a black aura will not learn an attacking move at first. It's usually a status move of some kind. In this case, Fluffy has Thunder Wave, so we can go ahead and get a uh, status affliction on that Slugma to make it easier to capture later. Hop, 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 hop. Get him! Flamethrower! A really strong fire move to have at this early in the game. Whew, oh boy. Okay, douse uh, Slugma's flames, please. No, not my flames. Rather than sticking around with Fluffy, I'm actually going to switch into Quilava so I can resist some of the fire damage that comes in. And is that the first threshold cleared? It is. So Quilava has retained, remembered the move Smokescreen. Not a great one, but it's still usable in some capacities. Iggly Buff. Oh man, he's got all the babies. Cool, 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 cool. That Quilava hit him. And you take out the baby. Stop that baby! That balloon is popped. Hey, that's not a baby, that's a bird. Not even a baby bird. It's just a bird. Uh, yup. Oof, that did a lot. Should probably just start hucking Pokeballs right now. Bleh. Yeah, Slugma does a lot of damage. Fl flamethrower as a stab fire move? Oof. Really good to have. Uh, Quilava, we'll have you attack Swablu for right now. And we'll toss a great ball at Slugma. When I was a kid, I thought the Snag Machine was the coolest thing. Nowadays, I still do think it's pretty cool. All right, there we go. Status Affliction is always a really good way of uh, capturing Pokemon in this. Peck, 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 peck. All right, finish him. That bird has been grounded. I hope you like my show, but that's time for me to go. Okay, everyone, we've all had our fun. Till next week, farewell. Well, thank you, Roller Boy Lawn. Uh, we'll get right back to you with the weather. All right. Huh? You want to battle me? Sure thing. Battling fans are always welcome. Bandana guy, Devil or Dival? Again, weird names, but he's a bandana guy. Quagsire and Psyduck. Oh, he's got a headache. The poor boy. Now, wait a minute. We've seen a theme here. Everybody at Dual Square has a Pokemon with a black aura. That Quagsire is no different. Now, unfortunately, we can't uh, paralyze it, so we're actually just going to need to chip it down and not use any status afflictions. Take that, Psyduck, you dummy. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I made him cry. Get him, Fluffy! Hup, hup, hup. Ah! Quagsire doesn't know what's going on. 
But yeah, now his uh, his special defense is up a little bit. So Espeon's not going to really do much in the long run. I'm going to switch over to Skiploom. I'm going to see what I can get away with here. Skiploom being grass and flying means that it's going to be resistant to both of Quagsire's types. So maybe I can still get away with something there. And hip, hip, hip. Quagsire's pretty tanky. He only has one weakness, and it's grass. And I don't have any of those moves. So I'm just going to have to keep... Chucking damage at it. Hope something sticks. <laughs> Here I go. Get him, Fluffy. Hip, hip, hip. Ooh, a crit. Here comes the surf. Ride that surf. Fluffy's probably going to take a death. Nope, not quite. Skip him, though. Arguably about the same damage. That's unfortunate. Either way, uh, Fluffy, we're gonna use you to toss a Great Ball, and Skiploom will soften up Quagsire a little bit more with another Shadow Rush. Even if it crits, I don't believe Skiploom's Shadow Rush would do any more than, uh, than uh, Fluffy's. So I think we're still safe on that front. We just need to make sure Quagsire doesn't then use a, uh, a Shadow Rush himself, or herself. A Quagmatum, as it were. <laughs> All right, perfect. We just need to make sure that uh, he stays like that. All right, Fluffy, uh, Thunder Wave, and Skiploom. Great ball. Yes, I am aware that Thunder Wave will not work on Quagsire. So rather than, uh, you know, using power points on a move, I could have just called Floppy for a free turn, but oh well. Ride that surf! <laughs> uh, stretch! All right. All right, Umbreon, get out there. We need you to take some damage. And I guess we'll just taunt. No real need to. He's not going to use Amnesia anymore. I respect people who can do a Pokeball only run a Pokemon Coliseum because that takes a lot of patience. Ugh! Whew! 